Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Neil. This is a very odd video on this channel. My regular subscribers are gonna be like, uh, this is not your style of content. And anyone that is new is gonna maybe watch this video and look at my other content and be like, uh, that's, you know, this is, this is very out of place. I completely agree, this is a very out of place video, but I like making vlogs, it's been a long time since I made one, but I like making them, and this felt like a pretty good opportunity uh, for two reasons. Number one, I wanted to test out a GoPro to see if I could actually vlog with it. Mixed results, as you'll see, um, but uh, the, the main reason is that I want to kind of share this experience of, of what the process is like picking up a Tesla and stuff. I'm not making the purchase. Uh, my friend Jason is making the purchase. The longtime viewers will know who Jason is. So um, it's um, it's really kind of like a, a low-key, not fancy vlog. There's no music. There's no fancy cuts. There's no fancy transitions. This is a very basic, like almost one cut kind of vlog video where you can just literally experience everything that we kind of went through, the drive there, the thoughts of, of the vehicle uh, inside and out, like everything that we think of the Tesla, the process of picking it up. So maybe if you're one of the new people who have clicked on this video because you are interested in buying a Tesla, maybe you've got one on order and you wanna see the process of picking one up, this video is gonna tell you how to do that, or not tell you how to do that, but you know, show you at least our experience in how to do this. And actually the main reason why I wanted to make this intro video here is to apologize for the audio in the, the video that you're about to watch. So for the most part, the GoPro did really well, but in the main uh, car clip as we're driving there, it's we, there's serious road noise. And I tried to recover the audio a little bit to make it uh, better and it is so much better than it was, but it's still not good. So I apologize for the audio. You might have to turn it up in spots, maybe turn it down in others. I, I do apologize for that, but, uh, and it's a long one as well. So, you know, get your snacks, get your drinks and experience Jason uh, buying a Tesla. And there's gonna be a part two where I get to drive it for the first time. So if you're interested in that and you're new, uh, you might wanna, might wanna hit the subscribe button to uh, see my first impressions of driving a Tesla. All right, thank you for clicking on this video, enjoy. My good friend Jason has ordered a Tesla back in October of last year. It's been a challenge trying to get it ever since. There's been delays, yada, yada, yada. But today is the day. We have to drive from Fredericton, New Brunswick, where we both live, to Halifax to pick it up. I'm gonna take you along on the adventure. Jason, this is a huge day for Jason. He's so excited. He's been dreaming about getting a Tesla for so long. So uh, this is such a monumental day for him. And I wanted to record it not only for to share it with you guys, but for him to look back on as well. And we have some cool stuff planned, like maybe going to Ikea. Not that that's really cool, but there's lots of things at Ikea that I'd like to get. So maybe I'll film some stuff in there. And uh, I mean, it's a Tesla, it's pretty cool, right? So it is 528 in the morning. <laughs> it's, it's early, me sleepy. So I, I think we plan on getting back around two or three. Not sure if I'm gonna have time for a nap once I get home. It is a Saturday, which is great. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long day, four plus hours there, four plus hours back. On the way back, we have to stop and charge, I think at least once. So I don't know, it's gonna be a, an eventful day. It's gonna be a, an educational day. I've never been in a Tesla. Jason's never been in a Tesla. So there's lots to learn, there's lots to see. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for coming along. Can I do? Uh, small hot chocolate. So I got four room style biscuits and small hot chocolate. Uh, yep. That is 914, come on up. Thank you. You're welcome. Epic. Wow. That was so bright. That was the brightest drive through oh, I've ever been through. That's, un that's unreasonable. We're stopping at Tim Hortons to get a little bit of a snack. We have to wake up. Mascara, please. There we go. Do you want any butter or anything for the biscuit? Uh, do you want butter? No, thanks. There we go. Thank you. These people are not educated on the plain home style biscuit. <laughs> I could have got it heated. They are definitely better heated. You got uh, biscuits. <laughs> I've not, <laughs> I've not had a Tim Hortons biscuit before. Follow up to this next clip. I don't like Tim Hortons biscuits. <laughs> Jason uh, just said before we started filming that he sp specifically likes biscuits in the car. He says he's one of my favorite <laughs> things to eat in the car, <laughs> which is an oddly specific thing. So. We're gonna give it a try. All right, folks, we are uh, just inside of Nova Scotia. We're probably about two hours -ish away from where we're gonna pick up the Tesla. And I wanna to talk to Jason, and by the way, 
I'm sure most of you know Jason, but this is Jason for those who don't. Uh, big day for you. Like you've had this vehicle since 2011 ish. 2012. That's 12, so it's been you know, 10 years. I'm going to be approaching 11 years. Yeah, close to 11. And so, what vehicle is this? How has it been? How many kilometers are you going to miss it? Yeah, this is a 2011 Kia Optima, which was the first year of the refresh. It used to be a Magentus, I believe it was called before. I think it's always been the Optima in the States, but in Canada it was called the Magentus. So you look up a Magentus and then you look up a 2011 Optima, that's the basically difference. It was a big difference. And I bought this car new, it came on a boat from Korea. This car has been amazing to me, and I'm definitely going to miss it. The only issues I had with it was that headlight that went out. I remember that, yeah. That's a big story. But basically, over a nat you know, natural course of time, the headlights go, they burn out. So I went to the dealer and they wanted $2,400 to replace my headlight. So, long story short, went to Canadian Tire, bought a $100 light bulb, put it myself, and it's goes new. <laughs> so, yeah, I remember you messaged me with that. That's, so, what, I, that's what I think of Kia service. <laughs> yeah, but it's got, what, 146,000 kilometers? Only 146, so. Just like 100,000 miles, something like that. So, uh, not uh, much. I don't know the math, but. For uh, 10 years, not much. For 10 years, that's actually pretty low. Kilometers. You're trading this in for a Tesla, yeah. But this is, I mean, it's got a panoramic sunroof, it's got this car, this car was amazing for the time I bought it. You have the heated steering wheel? No, yeah. Oh, you do? Heated steering wheel, rain yeah. sensing wipers, two sunroofs, front ventilated seats like that's just stuff you don't get in a regular brand car in 2011. In 2011, you were bougie. This was a $30,000 car, yeah, in Canada in 2011. So, I, I you're gonna miss it, yeah. But you're getting a Tesla. I'm so. not rich, by the way. I don't want this to be like Jason's rich. He's buying a Tesla. Like, I am absolutely not rich. Yeah, no. Jason's been buying a Tesla since like 2017, 2016, 2017. I think it's when he first yeah. started talking. I basically about it. sold my CD, got a bunch of money from that. We were gonna buy a pool, and then COVID hit. And when the guy came to install the pool, they put the quote up by six grand. So I said, I'm not paying you six thousand dollars more when I've already signed the document that said you're gonna do it for twelve grand. Year in turn 18. So we had that bunch of money put aside, plus we've been saving since then. And then gas prices started skyrocketing, and then I told my wife I was gonna get a Tesla. She's like, hell no, you're not. And now we're on our way to go get one. But yeah. we also get ten thousand dollars back from the government because I locked in the floor of that. So I've got a lot of money going down towards the down payment to help pay for this. So it's not like I've just made a money, so I don't want anyone to think that because it's just definitely not true. And I'm like really embarrassed about it kind of because I don't tell too many people about it. I tell people about I work about it and my friends about it, and that's pretty much it. Like I'm not I don't know. Yeah, this wasn't really an impulsive decision. It's kinda of awkward to talk about because like and I'm not an Elon Musk fanboy, like I'm not a Tesla fanboy, I'm not one of those people. I have an electric lawnmower, you could have attested that. You I've can, had that yeah. I've had that electric lawnmower for a long time. I'm just an electric kind of dude. I want electric stuff. And we test drove a on five. They were really like that too, but it was basically the same amount of money and just feature for feature for the trim level for the Onyx 5. There was more value going with the Tesla, so that's what we decided to do. So that's what we're doing. And you've driven a Tesla, but only for like a couple of minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. So, so this is going to be like all new kind of. Yeah, he's, he's not spent any kind of extended time in a Tesla. I've seen every YouTube video on YouTube. Yeah. Like every day for a bit. Tesla Model 3, see what's new. Just random people with like 40 views of their videos. I'm watching those. Maybe obsessed, but I'm ready to go. Very excited. So he's got the Model 3 with a white exterior, white interior. Love the decision. It's gonna look amazing. Oh, oh, it's gonna look. It's amazing. gonna, it's gonna blend in with every other white one because everyone else is cheap like me. Don't want to pay for the. Hey, look at this fog coming up. You see that? I can see yeah, that. It probably doesn't show up in the video, but it's like a wall of fog. Oh, it might. I'm gonna film it. Okay. There was a sign back there that said low visibility ahead and I just thought that was just a bullcrap sign that's just wow, always there. look at that. But it literally looks like we're going like a forest fire or something. It probably doesn't translate on camera. I will when you get closer, but... Dude, that has to translate on camera. I don't know if it will. I'm really wide right now. Oh, it's higher up than it looks. Yeah. Yeah, the road's starting to go down, so that's epic. We were deceived a little bit. Yeah. But still cool. We will drive through it though. It's just a low-lying cloud, kind of. So this is this is Nova Scotia for anyone who's never been to uh, Atlanta, Canada, or Nova Scotia specifically. It's much like New Brunswick in a lot of ways, uh, a little more hilly in some places, but full province. It's 
where we're going is four hours away from where we live. And I'll say this, <laughs> there may be a detour once we get there or after we pick up the vehicle because there's a, a new restaurant in town, <laughs> which is very famous across the United States called Popeye's <laughs> Chicken. People are probably like, it's just Popeye's. Yeah, it's just Popeye's, but we don't have that here. We're, we get everything 10 years after the regular world gets them. So we're going to get some Popeye's chicken. We're going to try the famous chicken sandwich that everyone's been uh, fighting over. Chicken and biscuits. Chicken and biscuits. So uh, we're going to try that, give you guys the review. And uh, yeah, look at this fog. This is the ASMR portion of the review. Okay, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be, but... Uh, That's not the theme of this whole video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still pretty cool. Check that out. Well, it's good to be early. I'll show you where we're going. Up a hill. Uh, it's right where all those Tesla's are. Be on the left. I think those are Tesla's right there. all those Tesla's. Is it possible that's my car right by the road? Uh, it's possible. It's white. There's another white There's one beside it. There's also four white ones all around it. One of those is yours. Is it that Model Y that's there? Where do you park? Okay, there's Tesla's everywhere. There is, yeah, there's Tesla's. I don't know where to park here. Everywhere. I don't know. There was no parking back there. No, there wasn't. I'd say you do a slow roll. A slow roll by? Yeah, again. It's like, yeah, I'm super early. We drove from Fredericton. That's fine. You don't get to deal with us. They don't open until 10, right? I don't know when they open. There's people there's outside. People, there's there was a, the earliest appointment was 10. Yeah, I don't know where you're I wonder if we could park here. This is like just a random. Like, that one's black seats. This one's white, white. It could be one of these two. I'd say, can you park in here? I don't know. Yeah, I'd say park in there. No. I could probably, it's pretty full. That's full. I don't know where you're gonna park. I could park over there. What do you think about parking over there? Up there? Oh yeah, I would definitely do that. Uh, there's we can find my car because there's parking there, but there's another car in there. Maybe my car is back there. Mm. I hope it's not there. But there was one. See that one way back there? Look at this guy, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. SpongeBob Tin Man. Tin Man. Tin Man. All right. All right. So what do you think? This thing walk up or go across the street? Uh. I feel awkward. If it's across the street, we could see, but... This place looks pretty packed. It, there's we're not, no way we're, you're parking We're either. not being, like, anal about the parking. They got two little parking lots, and they both look like they're full. Yeah. I'd say go to the right. Park up across This guy them. is... That's an inspection. That must have been allowed, because it's a little early. I think I should go here? Yep, yeah, I think you should go in there. Definitely. I think that's the team getting things right. Oh, no. No, there's that's just kids. Right. There's kids there. Yeah, I think you should park right under this tree. So we can lurk. We need to lurk. That very well could be one of mine. Who knows? Well, there's two there with white interiors. They're almost identical. <laughs> they should be exactly <laughs> identical. They should be identical. Unless their wheels are different. I can't see the other one. The wheel should be this. Oh, you're right. Now, it's the waiting game. Let's walk over. I bet you mine is... Mine and the hunting guy. Definitely. This is actually a killer spot to pick up from because it's just right off the highway. Yeah. All well, the wheels are the same, so... They're identical. Mine is 088. That's not that one. This is your vehicle. 318088. Yep. This is it. I don't see the monkey guys. Wheels are all shined up. Okay, look at the panel gaps. That's what we're looking for. Oh, there's going to be panel gaps regardless. Yeah, yeah, but there's no major ones. Okay, this side is definitely a little more gappy than the other side, but fine. 
difference between a panel gap here and on this side is noticeable. This one's bigger? This one's bigger. Yeah. I'm curious to see the other side. That looks good. This side here looks that a side. little bigger, right? Yeah. No, that side's worse than that side, I think. The other one. But it's not so bad that it looks weird, right? No, it's not. It's like so. if you looked at this car by itself, you wouldn't be like, huh. This is offset a little bit, but. That's fine. This is flush. You just want these things to be flush, right? In the air. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing that really looks... Looks good, it's clean. Haven't seen any scratches. So you might have a scratch on the inside of this window. I don't know if it's residue from a sticker or if it's a scratch. But it's on the inside pane. Oh, yeah. Here as well. It's probably a sticker. Make sure, we'll make sure. It's one on this side as well. Really? Yeah. That kind of looks like a scratch. The rest of them look like residue. There's something on the outside, this one. This is definitely yeah. a scratch, you can feel it. Yeah. Feel that with your nail. Yeah, that's definitely a scratch. Yeah, that's gonna have to be fixed. I hope the other ones are scratches too. I don't think so. They look like residue. Yeah. Because the light, the way the light's shining off them. That's a hundred percent a scratch. Yeah, that's that sucks. Hope they can fix that in my driveway. I don't want to drive all the way down here and get window replaced. Uh, they should be able to fix that with some. Like, there's gel that they use to fix it. I'm gonna check these little windows. That one looks perfect. That one's perfect. I don't see any exterior scratches on that one. That was just on the inside. any scratches on the outside of the paint. And the bumper looks like it's the same color. That's something that used to be different too. Was, was like a different the, paint. Was oh, different. really? Yeah. Because it's a different material, so it looks different. So you got the good headlights? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't noticed one scratch on the exterior at all. Yeah, good. I don't know how that would have gone in that glass. But... This is already all checked, as if they inspected it. Uh oh. No problems. <laughs> sure. Hey, that's that. Done. That turns off. I'm not happy about the scratch. It's kind of a shitty thing. But yeah, we noticed the scratch. I've heard in my French. Uh, we talked about it earlier when we were walking around. So there's a surface scratch here, yeah. but apparently it's within tolerance for delivery because it came from California to Halifax, which is 
Not sure how far, it's pretty far. So yeah. that gives it lots of time for problems to happen. But whatever, I'm not gonna be in Alberta. As long as it's remains as this, is for now. I'm going from this to that. Yeah. She told me if it does crack or anything gets worse, it's on file so they'll cover it. So that's really the main problem. Yeah, if it gets worse, then at least it's noted as file and stuff. But and now we got accessories. We got accessories. Uh, are we gonna film this? Film with the transfer of accessories? No, I'm gonna help you. I'm not gonna sit here and watch you and, and film. I'm gonna say. I'll talk to you soon. Let me get back to my mat. Oh, I just pulled my crap down. Wow, I can feel it right here. Yeah, look at this. This is wild. So you just like drag where you want the air to go. Okay, whoops. That's awesome. Yours looks good. Mine look good. Does it feel good? Uh, feels good to me. <laughs> um, th I don't know how to, there's like, you, you. What's this thing? Looks like a camera. There we go. Heck yeah. Back up camera, back left camera, back right camera. That's pretty good, I guess. What's the, oh. I wonder if it has the, uh, yep. So in the new update, you can move that. That's awesome. That's quick. Okay, I think we're good. So I have let go of the gas. We are not moving. Or the accelerator. Okay. But you're in drive? How does this work? Yeah, you're in drive. Oh yeah. See, hold. Up there. Very strange. Very strange. Very, very strange. Very quiet. The only thing here is the fan. So if you ever order a Tesla from Atlantic Canada, as of right now, that's okay, where you Okay, that was up. me letting go of the gas, no brake. Wow. I was barely doing anything there. Okay, ready? Let go of the brake. Gas now. <laughs> that's weird. That's going to take some time to get used to. So am I supposed to go up the hill? I think I am, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. That's all right. Oh my god. I barely did anything there. Nice. <laughs> I can feel that for sure. Jeez, I didn't even hit it. Oh, it'll reroute you. These seats, I like these seats, man. These seats are comfy. These seats are very comfy. Did that change the minutes by much or not really? Uh, Six minutes? No, it, it added like seconds. Right on to Hammond's Plains Road. All right. God, I feel like I literally am forgetting something. Like, I know, I it's so there, strange. Or I don't have my keys or I'm... I feel like I forgot something there, and this is not my problem. I, I like this window, I, can hear I like this. Echo. Dude, yeah, this is awesome. Right yeah. But, like, not a, not a bad That's echo. That's me letting go. Like, like, I couldn't even glide into it. That's so strange. So I will not use my brakes as much as I can here. This is, I'm not braking at all here. This is just pure gas. It's such an unnatural feeling as a passenger I can't to not to... see your foot on the brake <laughs> in front of this road. God, I'm not even doing anything, barely. <laughs> That's incredible. Speed limit of 70, it's telling me. Got a nice big map. Yep. Got the lines of the road right here. Going straight through this intersection. Oh, I got a light. Okay, here we go. Let's see how Test. I can do this. No brakes. I am still pressing the gas, actually, to come to this stop. Still on the gas? Yep, I'm still actually pushing the gas. It wasn't very smooth, but I'm, I nailed it, but it wasn't very smooth. And now you're not on no brake. I just saw the brake pedal move automatically. Yeah, it's hold, it's brake hold. But it's just like this feeling like I just left my car with all the stuff there, my keys and- You sound weird. I sound pro, what are you talking about? You sound like you're in a different room. I, I, I sound absolutely like- school that guy. Come down, Clark. Uh, I can school that guy immediately. 45 <laughs> seconds of the vehicle, let's race someone. <laughs> no, this is the slowest test of the boys. I feel like I'm talking to you through a tin It's because all can. the glass, I think. It's all the glass. I feel like we're in a glass room. This is a 70. Why am I going so loud? Dude, it is unbelievable how much it picks up. I can't wait for you to try this. I am so sure. I am not trying this for like another no, month. No, you are 100% trying this today. Nope. Look, yeah, the race to you. Yeah. It's because I'm going. You, yeah, you're going to turn right here soon. Not that one. This guy going to let me in. He's going to force my way in. Look at that, look at this camera. Dude, the ability to pull up and let go is unbelievable. I can't describe it. Like I'm trying to describe it. This video is not gonna justify. Now turn right to take the NS so turn right here. to South Yep. Ramp. It's kind of a weird road that you're gonna I take. I have not hit the brakes since I've been in this car yet, since we picked it up. 
That's not brake training. Does it feel training. unnatural? No, it feels amazing. This is how driving a car should be. Oh, that's a bold statement. That's the title of this video. I think <laughs> you are going to like it. Oh, look at this guy. That guy's on a test drive or just bought the vehicle. This is a 100 and he's going 35. Well, I don't think it's 100 on this, like, awkward section. <laughs> Heck yeah, look at this turn. So, I wouldn't do 100 to go around here. Can I, like, can you unzoom that map if you pinch it a little bit? Unzoom it? Yeah. Heck yeah, you can. That was responsive too, wasn't it? Yeah, very responsive. Immediate. Okay, buddy, I want to pull out. Now you got the gusto. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> We're going 100 as soon as I did that. <laughs> well, I didn't notice the speed up there. It's a good spot for it. Did you hear the little whine? Like, I did. Oh, you can see your acceleration here too. Yeah, that's my regen brake. If I let go, it shows you how much power I'm getting back. Wow. At 92% right now. We're going to Popeyes. Popeyes chicken. I don't know, man. It's very spacious in here, I find. Like, it's very white. Calibration across. That's for the autopilot. Once it's, see how this is going around a circle? Uh, so okay. after that's done, we can autopilot. I'm looking forward to trying to autopilot now. Yeah, we're going to be on the highway for the majority of the drive back, so give us a good chance to try it out. All right, a long day of driving. We're back in the Fredericton area. We did stop for a family visit uh, just outside of Fredericton, but we're, you know, four hours into driving this vehicle. What do you think so far? What's your favorite features? What have you learned? I forget what the last thing we recorded was. <laughs> Me too. I think <laughs> it's we were... been so long. Oh, it was right before we got chicken. Dude, By we, the way, we went to Popeyes. Chicken was good. It was very good. I'll show some photos. Uh, chicken sandwich was excellent. Nuggets were amazing. Yep. Chicken strips. Eh. Yeah, but the burger, very good. So then we left. We drove a lot. We went to IKEA. IKEA. We did go to IKEA. We bought some things. Bought some stuff. Yep. We plugged in. We plugged in. We charged. We got 10% battery from IKEA. Yeah, we were. We, we got 10% from IKEA and then we stopped in All Lack. We were 28%. We actually stopped at a lot of superchargers. Tell them your opinion on the superchargers now that has changed. Okay. I was expecting, like, you know, you got to stop for 40 minutes. I was expecting and you get like 50%. We stopped at 28%. We were there for 10 minutes. We charged for 10 minutes and it went from 28% to 70 Exactly, I think it was. 69 or yeah. 70% in 10 minutes. So I was like, okay. This is way better than I thought it was gonna be. Now, granted, it was a Tesla supercharger. Yeah. But still, very impressed, way better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, that was a deal breaker for me. After seeing that, I would consider buying one of these. Very, very impressed. But the regenerative braking to one pedal driving. I have not hit the brake, except for maybe two times, I think, that we're aware of since we picked it up. And it is now eight o'clock at night. We picked up the car at like 11 a.m. Yeah, so we've driven So maybe four twice hours. I hit the brakes. It's awesome. I think I think all cars are going to be like this at some point. It's just we can't wait for part two when you get to see him drive it. So, would you highly recommend this vehicle? Um, uh, I don't know. I would say no right now because the price has gone up. Okay. Well, what if the price is still the same as when you bought it or if ordered it? Rather? If you could get it for what I got it for, I would definitely recommend it. So far, anyway, I'm still day one of owning it. But it's like we were talking off camera. High up front cost for sure, but no gas and really cheap to charge at home. Even the supercharging wasn't that bad. Yeah, you gotta so, factor that into your equation. So if you, if you go buy a new car and figure out what your monthly payment's gonna be, figure out how much money you're gonna spend a month on gas and then put that into the payment too. Exactly. It's actually gonna be a lot closer than you think. But if the price has gone up, so like, definitely like, don't recommend now. The price is way higher. It took 10 months for this car to come in. I don't know if I mentioned that in the first part. I ordered in October. Yeah. It came today in August, whatever this is, 13th. Yeah. So a long time, but I was really nervous. When we were in Popeyes, I was like shaking. Yeah, he was a little bit nervous. I, like, I wasn't nervous before we picked it up, but after I got it, I felt like I forgot something or something. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Also, we made many wrong turns. Oh, dude. Halifax, meh. Not as easy to drive around as in Fredericton, but it was it was a really good day really educational I guess learned a lot about the infotainment system and how it works how well the self-driving does which it does well lots of stuff uh, as a bystander who has not driven this vehicle yet I I am very impressed way more impressed I thought I always thought Tesla's were cool they're at like a diff different status to me now I'm actually very very impressed by Tesla kind of like Jason don't really like Elon Musk not a Musk fanboy at all not but a Tesla fanboy either. Not a Tesla fanboy either, but this is like honestly really impressive. So 
my opinion changed a little bit on this vehicle for the better and maybe I'll do a part two of this video of me driving it. Maybe a YouTube short. Have you ever done one of those before? I have not done a YouTube short. Maybe that'd be a perfect thing for a YouTube short. My first impressions of driving a Tesla. So if you want to see that stay tuned, uh, hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. We appreciate you. It's 8 11 here. It's about 20 minute drive home. We're going to uh, we're gonna hang out for a little bit so we'll say goodbye and uh, thank you for watching. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Adios.